A few years ago, I released a viral video entitled The Day I Met Martin Gore from Depeche Mode. In this video, we're going to visit the site of where that actually took place in London. Hello and welcome beautiful people. If you're new here, my name is Vaughan George. I'm an artist, an artist development coach, and also a keyboardist for the UK band Mesh. On this channel, we discuss and analyze music albums with a particular bias on keyboarded musical instruments and electronic music, but not exclusively, and with a huge emphasis and respect for Depeche Mode. It's worth mentioning that I have a second channel called the Depeche Mode Hub. If you are a Depeche Mode fan and who isn't, then do subscribe to that channel where it is exclusively all about Depeche Mode. Which brings me to my interpretations shows. If you've been following me and you like the piano breakdowns I do of Depeche Mode songs, I'm pleased to tell you that we are taking this concept to the road with my first show now booked next week in Tallinn. This is followed by a show in Oberhausen in Germany at the end of December 2024 and also next year, February 2025 in London. So do get your tickets now. Now, a few years ago, I released a video which went viral and it was entitled The Day I Met Martin Gore from Depeche Mode. And this followed demand from you guys, the community, because you asked me to talk about that because I would often speak about it in passing. I would talk about the day I met Martin Gore. Now, just a little bit of context for those of you who are not aware. Back in 1999, I moved from my native South Africa to the UK where I lived most of, most of my life. And I worked in a music retail store from 1999 in Charing Cross Road. It was called Turnkey. It was a music retail store. It was the biggest in Europe at the time. It doesn't exist anymore. But I was the keyboard salesman and I met many interesting artists there, which I'll speak about more on, on videos to follow. But the video which went viral was the video where I met Martin Gore. And if you guys haven't seen that yet, I... In encourage you to watch it because it, it's a very personal story and which some of you thought was very very heartwarming. So bearing in mind the interest that there was in that video, bearing in mind I released it a few years ago, I decided to visit the site where Turnkey used to be. Now unfortunately as I said that store no longer exists, it went bankrupt many years ago but during one of my recent London visits I visited the site and I'm going to take you there right now. Hi guys, I'm here in London's worst end. Oh, did I say worst end? I meant to say West End. Now you can see what I did there. <laughs> we used to call this area the worst end. When I first moved to the UK in 1999, this was the place I used to work. This building over here, this used to be Turnkey, a music retail store. And um, I've spoken about this on my channel before. You guys have heard me talk about when I w worked in Turnkey. That's T-U-R-N-K-E-Y, the music retail store. And, and this is the site of it now. So as you, can, as you can see, a lot has changed. It's not here anymore. It's a, it's a um, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Ch Ch Chipotle, whatever. It's a um, Mexican, Mexican fast food restaurant or something like that. But anyway, I'm going to just show you the location because this, of course, was the location where I met Martin Gore that time when I, if you guys saw that viral video of mine, which was the day I met Martin Gore, that was exactly at the spot here. Um, okay, so I'm going to take you down the alley. So, of course, this was the front of the shop. Structurally, it's pretty much the same. It's an old building, but obviously uh, a lot has changed um, it's a Mexican fast food restaurant now. So if you come along with me here, this is what we used to call the piss alley. <laughs> yeah, and the reason we called it the piss alley was because it used to smell like piss. And it still smells like piss, to be honest. And uh, this is where people would just come and take a piss. And um, you know, lots of, there was lots of drugs and homelessness around here. There still is around the West End. It's, and um, yeah, this is where I remember it's, I've got so many vivid memories just coming straight back now. Now, of course, that, 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 that part over there, this was the, you know, the inside of the, the uh, music retail store. And then this part over here, this was 
um, what we called the Media Tools Building. And this was where we had the telesales upstairs. I believe this is the entrance here to where the, 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 the telesales was. So tip, typically what, what we would do is, as a salesman, I would go in there and you know we'd we'd have people on the shop floor we'd have people in the warehouse but then this was like the the tele sales department and the pro sales and the pro sales used to deal with like the high end customers like you know famous famous producers and stuff um so <laughs> i remember the day i met martin gore i came walking down because you know i would sometimes work on the shop floor and sometimes i'd work in tele sales so that day i met martin gore i remember it was a I think it was 2000 or 2001, but it was this, it was in July. It was the summer. I remember. I remember coming down these stairs here, and kind of walking this way down the piss alley. And you typically walk here, and there'd be some fellow salesman here, and you'd go, "Hi, hello, mate. How are you doing?" You talk to your fellow salesman. It was a really, really stressful environment to work. It was a, a commission, a commission-based job. You know, there was no basic salary. Uh, really, really stressful. <laughs> I won't get into that. But anyway, I came walking down on that day like this just sort of walking and I remember turning and coming to the front of the shop now so what I did was I came to I came to the front door and I walked like this and then I saw this person coming here after you and uh, I saw this person coming here and I got to the front door and our our hands both touched this, the front door at the same time and I looked at this guy in the face and I thought oh my god I know you and it was Martin Gore <laughs> <laughs> And of course, I go, I, I go, I, I go into a lot of detail in that video, um, which was the video called uh, "The Day I Met Martin Gore." It's, um, yeah, it's very. I get really, really rattled when I come out here because there's always like so much movement and noise and shit. And uh, but yeah, and as I say, I used to work here during. Um, this was my first job when I came to the UK, and it was, it was very, very stressful. So. Just as I'm standing here now, a lot, of, a lot of those stressful emotions are kind of coming back. And so finally, if you guys watched that video the day I met Martin Gore, I told, I spoke about how I walked out of the shop, the, out of the the, uh, the the shop here, and we crossed the road. And uh, really, all we did was we crossed the road to that side over there. You'll see there's a bus stop over there, and um, that was where I hailed the taxi for Martin. And uh, huh. And I, I figure we're not going to cross the road here. There's, there's just too much happening here. We'll probably get run over. <laughs> but that's where I put him in the taxi and I said goodbye and uh, thank you for everything. And um, not much more to see here, folks. I wish the actual store was still there and we could go in. And obviously when I worked there, I was a salesman. I was known as the keyboards guy. And as I say, it was a really hard job. It was commission-based, you know, so it was very, very cutthroat. And because it was commission-based, it meant that you, as a as a salesman, didn't really have time for customer services. So when a, when a customer came in and wanted to look at an instrument, whether it be a keyboard or a guitar or a turntable, because you were on a commission basis with very little basic uh, salary, you you it was very cutthroat so people would come in and you, you'd find yourself being really brash and saying are you going to buy it <laughs> stop wasting my time and we had this great saying for uh, customers who would come in and like pick up guitars and then just play them all day and then not buy them we called them time wasters but anyway guys i don't want to waste your time um i just wanted to sort of share this this has been a long time coming i know a lot of you have always asked me to do a video on this location i guess it's a little bit disappointing because there's not much to show you but Hey man, I can tick it off on the bucket list that here's the video. I've shown you guys the location. Okay, so um, we're going to cut now and we might go somewhere else. The Astoria used to be a very iconic gig venue here in London when I came. And you know, it's been such a long time, I couldn't even, even remember where it was. So we had to go onto Google and look up the address. And the Astoria was an iconic venue um, where we, I mean, I saw Gary Newman there a few times. I saw um, Martin Gore perform there as well in 2004 when he did his counterfeit album. But this is it now. They've knocked it down and look what it is now. It's, it's a Starbucks and, um, <laughs> okay, it looks a lot more shiny. I mean, the Astoria was an old theater. Bit of a shithole, really. <laughs> 
but it had a lot of character and uh, there were a lot of bands and stuff and uh, I find this this is very sad to me about London is what they do is they just they just knock knock places down places with such iconic uh, heritage and they just knock things down and then they build coffee shops and blocks of flats so there's just like no heritage or anything left you know e everything that made the place what it was is kind of eradicated by you know progress I guess gentrification or all that stuff anyway as I say not much to see here it's just really busy lots of people which pushes my anxiety through the roof and uh, we're gonna go and have a few drinks now just to chill out that's all there is nothing more that I can show you I wish I could show you more but that's all there is if you enjoyed that video guys and if you want to see more like this please leave your comments below any suggestions or anything you would like me to talk about in future let me know lots of love i will see you on the next video and see you hopefully at one of my piano interpretation shows coming soon lots of love adios